right, so this is a full moon reading for Scorpio. Um, this is the harvest moon in Aries um, for October 1st. Mostly it talks about um, what is your goal for this cycle, this moon cycle. Um, what must you leave behind in this cycle in order to achieve your goal. And um, how can you release your inner warrior to achieve this. And what fuels your drive. What happened, what kind of triggered it, what's going on there. Um, so let's get right into it. With the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is represented for... Um, what is the goal for this cycle? So, Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is complete disaster, violent and self-destructive uh, disaster. Violent and self-destructive obstacles, uh, infidelity, tyranny, or embarrassment. So, maybe there was a... <laughs> um... Maybe you called something too quick. Um, so, um, maybe you wanted to achieve something. Maybe you had a new job. Maybe you had a new relationship. Maybe you had some other stuff going on. And maybe it fell through. I'm just going to tell you that. So, spoilers. Um, but let's see what else happens. So, what must you leave behind in order to achieve this? Um, so, the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands in reverse is complex. Complexity of deeds and decisions, um, trickery, and intense involvement. So, um, uh, let's see. There's there's something going on, and I think somebody else might have been giving you twisted advice or um, like the wrong type of like. I wouldn't say it's boasting or prideful, but I do think it's along those lines where they were like, oh, you can do it too, um, kind of peer pressure. So, um, I do think that somebody said something that probably didn't align with, um, what your goals were and you kind of either got starstruck, you kind of got flattery and you kind of, um, might have said something, did something to somebody else, and it might have backfired on you. Um, so just be careful. Um, we have, um, how can you release your inner warrior? The tower in reverse. The tower in reverse is too much stability, continu continuation of old and bad ways, sloth, bad situation that won't change, imprisonment. So, um, there, there could be um, something going on in your personal life. Um, maybe being at home for a long period of time kind of made you want to, you know, do something that you wanted to do or, you know, indulge in something you shouldn't. But, like, being, being at home probably made you, like, I just want to go out and, like, take a breather, blah, blah. And then something happened, and then here we are. Um, but, yeah, you kind of want to do something rebellious. And that's where we're getting. Um, then we have what fuels your drive. What happened in order to make this um, a, a thing? So, um, complete disaster. Yes, yeah, so let's see what was the driving force. Um, the Three of Wands. Ooh. Um... Discovery of a new way, a um, stability in job performance, ability, bold knowledge of the world, and thrill of negotiation and trade. So, I think you kind of learned the secret sauce and um, wanted to share that with the world, but in reality, people didn't want to hear it, or it might have not gone exactly as your plans. Um, sometimes... You have the magic serum, and sometimes you don't. Some people think it's snake oil. So maybe you just went, f like, full, full on, let's, let's bring this to the world kind of deal, and people didn't want to hear it. So just be aware of that. Um, yeah, sometimes your solution doesn't really work for uh, life in general, because um, generations change a lot of um, predictions you may have. So... Yeah, and people change their minds a lot, so you have to put that into consideration. Your entire life is with a 15% um, 
error, so you have to kind of think about that too. It's either it's going to work swimming late or it's not going to work at all, so you have to think about that. Anyway, on the um, on October 10th, I will be doing the second moon, which is going to be the blue moon in Taurus. It's going to be the um, hunter's moon. It's going to be the blood moon and the travel moon, and that's going to be on the 10th. Because um, on the 31st of October, it's probably going to be really um, magical, um, <laughs> especially in the October. Um, because I don't think we've had too many blue moons in October, so it's going to be pretty intense around Halloween, so that's why I'm doing it on the 10th, because spoilers. Um, anyway, so... Um, if you like this video, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I read everything, so you know this. Um, and I will see you in the next reading on the 10th. Um, because I kind of want to know my own horoscope, too, you know. It's fun. Anyway, thank you for watching, Scorpio. And I will see you in the next video, alright? Bye now.